it's time you guys have been asking for it and uh, the day is finally here where I'm gonna do a bike build video uh, my sponsors have just been way too kind so they've been uh, designing me a custom painted bike and this one's uh, perfect in time for Crankworx Cairns in Australia where I fly out in a few days so today we're gonna do a bike build video we're gonna build it up I'm gonna head to Bikester I'm gonna have my mechanic look over it and build it up smoothly and uh, yeah I don't know I'm just gonna show you the frame here a little bit and then I guess at Bikester we're just gonna jump into a very very crisp and nice uh, little b-roll segment with, with my new camera by the way I've got a brand new camera and I feel like this is such an upgrade from what we had before but anyways and it's not only the frame in this box we got a matching fork so I think today is gonna be absolutely amazing we're gonna build it up then I'm gonna do a bike check on it and talk a little bit about the specs and stuff and then right off the that uh, I'm gonna go try the bike at the compound and do some training there as well so it's a bit of a new format to the bike build videos but uh, I'm gonna try it out today and see what you guys think about it but I think it's gonna be a great video and uh, yeah I'm super super excited about this bike so hopefully you guys are keen as well by the way I don't think I've showed you guys that like yeah, I bought these the cabinets and stuff and like put all my... I made a little corner here for future bike build videos. I'm just packing up everything and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to not miss anything, head to Bikester and yeah, and then I'm gonna try to work my magic with the camera a little bit. I'll catch you right back after it. Alright, so that is the build. Pedro at Bikester absolutely smashed it with the build. He's such a talented bike mechanic and he just makes everything look very, very easy and very, very clean when he builds them. Uh, I'm actually down at the compound now, but we're gonna do a bit of a bike check here and I'm gonna walk you through everything and uh, talk a little bit about the setup and what's special about this edition. Uh, let's just start with the frame. Uh, Canon and Del were kind enough to just do me a special painted one for this event. Uh, and I'm always gonna ride it more than just the event. But anyways, uh, so this is a normal Cannondale Dave, but they sent it to a painter and the painter put uh, Max here instead of uh, uh, putting Dave there, so that feels very very special for me. And they were also kind enough to just put a logo here. It's not really my logo, but it's kind of a knockoff, so it was a good little uh, touch and addition to it. Uh, I wanted a white bike for such a long time, so I feel like just uh, the black and white uh, is just such a clean uh, mix. and. Uh, Moving on to the fork, that's kind of where I got the idea from. Marsaki hit me up and said that they wanted to do a white uh, fork and I was like, yes, and I wanted a white frame. So I thought that was such a good uh, good idea to just mix them together and make this clean looking bike. Uh, so yeah, Marsaki with the white edition uh, DJ Bomber, uh, such a clean one. Same internals and everything. And uh, it was the, the cool thing about this edition with the paint job and stuff is that the, the crown is actually gloss, it's not matte. And then also like the top caps and stuff like with the, uh, the compression uh, thing is also like gray instead of uh, gold. And uh, this one's black instead of uh, uh, gray. So that's a really cool little detail. I love the details on this bike. And uh, also uh, the finish on the frame is not like gloss or matte. It's kind of like an in-betweener. So I really love how, how it came out and how it looks. Uh, in my opinion, it's, this is by far the cleanest bike I've ever had, so I feel like this is uh, uh, this is such a sick one. Parts, obviously the title parts go so well with this edition because all the parts are just black and then a white clean logo and that's really like just what I wanted to, to do with this bike, just have it clean with black and white. Uh, sorry about the wind if it's too much, but I think it should be alright. I'm running the form bar, uh, I cut it down to 730, so it's uh, not the widest bar, it's not the shortest bar, it's just good for for bar spins in my opinion. Uh, 
obviously tile brake lever as always tile stem i run the 31 millimeter one so it's the shortest one they have good for bar spins as well uh, my own grips my old ones new ones are coming i'm sorry it's just production in china and everything it's just it takes forever nowadays so uh, they're coming and also tile seat obviously the js1 clean matte just clean it's not much more to say it's just very durable clean and comfortable product High quality as well. Title seat post as well. Uh, moving on to wheels. Uh, obviously, no tech crisp wheels. Uh, very, very reliable. They never bend. They, the, the hubs last forever. And uh, it's not much more to say about them. They're clean. They're not too light. I don't like when wheels are too light because that like, rotation weight is always a bit picky in my opinion. I want it to be not too light because then it feels weird on tail whips and uh, double whips and triple whips and stuff like that. So I really love these uh, wheels. Tires are Continental, a Race King uh, protection walls, as always, 2.2. And in the front, I'm running the, the, the Cross King 2.2 uh, with Race Sport Edition on the sides instead, because a bit of li lighter front tires, it makes bar skins go a bit easier. And on the back, they're, wa they're thicker, because if I land sketch on a soft side course, they don't explode. So that's the reason why, really. Uh, I'm not even running light tubes in the wheels. I would kind of want it to be a bit heavier because it just feels like I got more power when I do tail ups and stuff. So just normal MTB uh, tubes in there. So that's a good uh, tip for you kids and stuff. Like you don't have to chase weight necessarily. Like just make sure that the bike is very leveled out and like the, the, the weight is distributed properly instead of just making it super, super light at one point and then heavy in the back end or something like that. But obviously Shimano hooks it up. I'm running Dior XTs now. Uh, I used to run the XTRs, uh, but I just found out that uh, they're just a bit more plain, clean and uh, chill and they hold up for anything. So I think I'm gonna start running the XTs forever now because they just lasted really good for me. Uh, crank butters pedals, uh, not riding for them, but just run them for now. Uh, Shimano chain, obviously XTR. Uh, for my gyro setup, a lot of people are asking me about this. I'm running the, the, the Tile one, the same as they're selling on the website. It's just the G, G1, uh, very, very smooth. If you like learn how to tension everything properly, it works like a dream. And you have to really like just lube up the cables and stuff before you put them on, because that's, uh, that's a huge game changer. If you put the right lube on, not too thick of a lube and not too thin of a lube, just find that really like perfect, uh, glidey, good lube. A lot of talking about lube there, but anyways. <laughs> Uh, just set it up properly and then I'm running the Shimano brake caliper. You can get that on tile, the tile website as well. The Shimano brake caliper has such a good spring on them so they're not too heavy with the resistant. Uh, uh, disc, 160 mil disc obviously. Maybe we can take away the warning tape and stuff. Probably a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, headset, uh, I don't even know. So don't ask. Just buy a headset. I think all of them are spinning. But this one spins pretty good. 4.5 bars in the tires, which is like above 60, a little bit. 120 psi in the fork, and I run the compression like halfway there. A few clicks to the, to the faster side on the rebound as well. So yeah, that's basically how I set up my bike. As long as it looks good, it feels good. And if it feels good, it rides good. Yeah, I mean, fresh bike for Australia, because you can't even take in any bacteria in the country anyway, so it has to be like new, or you have to clean it with a toothbrush, but I'm not gonna do that. So this is quite a good timing for everything. So yeah, I guess that's my bike. I just love the small details that Pedro put on, like the, the, like the carbon spacers and like, everything so huge shout out to uh, bikester for building this setup and a uh, huge 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 shout out marsaki and all my other sponsors for setting up this uh, massive shout out to cannondale for uh, being such a cool brand and they're uh, making my dreams a reality uh, yeah i'm gonna hopefully we can do some more cool paint jobs in the future and hopefully some trail bikes as well uh, that was just a hint i know that i'm gonna do that yeah i'm gonna try to ride this bike now it's insanely windy here at the compound i feel like uh, spring is always just a wind and mystery but uh, it's better than the winter so we're gonna try to ride a little bit 11.3 kilos that's what i waited it for so uh, yeah very very excited about this hopefully leave a comment down below what you think about the bike uh, i think it's personally my favorite one i've ever built up between all of my bikes that i've ever ever had so uh, let me know what you guys think such a clean one such a chill one and it's gonna match really good with my signature jersey and stuff as well, so uh, I'm keen.